future looks bright for Lakeview. The neighborhood is becoming one of Chicago's most creative neighborhoods, and there is a 10-year plan aimed to continue its growth and development. Here with more on this plan, Becca Gersh and Robert Morvey with the Lakeview Roscoe Village Chamber of Commerce. That is a mouthful. Yes. <laughs> Thank you guys for both being here. Thank We're not you. the most efficient title, but no. everything else is very efficient. But you got a lot going on, so we'll give you yes. that. Okay, 10 years, and I was looking at your 10-year plan. First, explain to me what Allery's are. Allery's are really exciting. Um, this is a new concept. We joke that we're going to try and get it in Merriam-Webster for next year. But it's the combination of um, an alley and a gallery. Okay. So we have um, a large diagonal, Lincoln Avenue, that mm -hmm. runs through our neighborhood. And so it kind of brings these unique alleys. And most people are used to just a, you know, an alley that runs kind of sideways. But because it's an angle, it's more open to the street. So our consultants um, kind of helped us brainstorm this idea of activating the alleys with um, public art and making kind of a gallery wall that we can change out and then also activating the space around it for programming, um, possible, you know, mini concerts, wow. um, okay, you know, fantastic. sort of different ways to engage the community. Yeah, I and that. I was looking at that 10-year plan that you guys have created. It does have a, a huge art component mm -hmm. to it. You really don't think of art as being a business. How does this help you guys in moving forward? Well, I think for us, it's really that we want people to linger and enjoy the community. And mm -hmm. so, you know, we, our focus is on business development, but we also want to meet the needs of our residents as well as kind of introduce people, tourists and, and tourists from, a, you know, our joining neighborhoods to come and stay in the neighborhood. And so I think our public art investment um, just really amplifies and shows the beauty of our community and the diversity and creativity um, and makes people kind of want to hang out and, uh, and feel good okay. about being in our, in our, in our area shopping and dining. All right, and Robert, talk a little bit about the Low Line Project. I know about the Low Line Market, but you guys have also art installations there, too. Yes, absolutely. We have a total of uh, 11 art panels that are up, uh, four at our Southport Plaza underneath the Southport Brown Line Station, and uh, an art walk that runs from the Paulina, South, uh, uh, Paul, uh, Paulina Plaza underneath mm -hmm. the Brown Line mm -hmm. all the way down over to Ashland, and we feature uh, rotating pieces of art there. Uh, currently, we have a bunch of pieces uh, from artists Rodney Durr, and, and uh, Jeremy Novi and E. Lee uh, highlighting mental health awareness, which yeah, I think one is one of them is Nosy, right? Yes, the okay. Nosy's by, by Rodney Duran yeah. highlighting and, and making sure that uh, people know that, that it's okay to be nosy and look into other people oh. and, and, and it's okay to talk about these with, with these people. I love that. I, I know that the city as a whole has embraced Lake Michigan because it is one of our beautiful mm -hmm. assets, but there is another waterway that we need to pay attention to and that is the Chicago River and you guys have now come up with a plan to try to make the river a connection between other neighborhoods? Yeah, that's right. You know, our focus or our service area is West Lakeview. Even though our title's very long, we should have added the word West <laughs> in front of it. So Lakeview East um, is a vibrant community that is adjacent to the to the lakefront, as you noted. But for us, um, we're focusing a little further West, and um, there's some great trails. I, I'm sure you guys are aware, but there's a gap between Diversity and Belmont, and that's kind of the western edge of our, of our service area. So we're really looking. Um, we've heard from the community. We did a ton of outreach when we were putting together our master plan. And one of the things that people were looking for were kind of ways to stay healthy and, and exercise, but also, you know, really maximize that amazing riverfront. So, um, yeah, it's part of our long-term plan. It's not something that's going to take a couple weeks. It's going to take several years for us to find partners and grants and, and kind of get the plan so together. what are you looking to do, though? So we're looking to, um, you know, connect the trail so they'll be um, they'll be running and, and walking past, and it'll oh. be accessible, um, a continuous, you know, trail that will kind of go up and down the river. There's a significant oh. gap where it's you know, uns not unsafe, but you know, there's Unsightly. not, it's, yeah, yeah, it's not finished. Yeah. yeah, it's not yeah. finished. It needs some, some attention. And so that's really something that we're, we're looking forward to making an investment in. Uh, Robert, real quickly, in the immediate term, though, you guys are still have a call out for artists, correct? Yes, we have a call for artists that's open until next Friday at 5 p.m. So uh, any, any local artists who are watching, uh, feel free to look at our website, lakeviewroscovillage.org. Uh, it is for a large scale mural project, a huge 22 by 48 mural on the south side of the Central Savings Building. Uh, at the Lincoln, Ashland, and Belmont intersection. Uh, and we're hoping that's going to be the centerpiece of our new Lakeview Center uh, oh. at that intersection and uh, bring a creative and diverse voice uh, to, to uh, those passing by the intersection every day. Yeah, as oh, Amy kind of alluded to, this plan is huge. Yeah. Is there a place where people can actually get in and see what you guys are doing? It's on our website. It lives okay. on our website. And you'll kind of see that we've, you know, we've worked with our consultants. We also had over 700 uh, responses from um, our neighbors. 
first. So they took a third, 700 people took a 30 minute online survey oh. to share what their priorities were about dining and shopping and safety and, and sort of what makes, what makes our community great and what we can improve on. So that's what we really integrated into the plan. And we've sort of looked at it in, in kind of three, three chunks, you know, these short term plans like this large scale mural that we're going to be implementing in 2024, the alleries we'll be introducing next year, and then things like this riverfront river activation project that will take several years, but we've kind of planned for that so that we have the next seven to 10 years kind of mapped out and we have a really strong direction so um, in response to the neighbors. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's Beth cool. And Robert, that is so exciting. Thank you for sharing. As she mentioned, the website, lakeviewroscovillage.org, telephone number, website, media, uh, media social handles. Check them out.